this is Maddie. So, um, August is coming to an end, so I thought that I would do like a August favorite video, seeing that um, I've done a July favorite video, and I thought that if I have time, I should just do like an August um, favorite video. So, um, this, uh, this video will be like my August favorite. And I recently just like went back to school. Which, was, which started at about 11 of August. I went to school on 11 of August, so I've been using like cosmetics a <laughs> lot because when I go to school, I make up. But um, yeah, so yeah, so let's start off with it. And the first one is this um, Body Shop uh, lipstick. Um, it, oh, I don't know what's the name of this lipstick, just not the number one. And I, it came out in the rose collection like last, no I guess probably like half a year ago. Yeah, and I really like this colour. Look at this colour. It's like um let's see. Uh dark in I don't know how to spell it, but I really like it. It's um it's really nice on my lips and it's very um moisturizing so it doesn't dry out my lips and um, shows up all the dry crack or crack on my lips and it has a nice sheen to it so I really like it swatch it I'll show you how nice it is and this is the colour right here so this one is which I need a lot and the next one I guess you probably know yeah, because I say it during my um, do my favorite it's again the cream the cream cut lipstick. This lipstick is gorgeous. I said it before in my July favorite it's like a muted pink with a bit of lilac sheen. So I love it. And this time I'm gonna swatch for you. It's right here. It's the most beautiful pink I've ever seen. So yeah, that's the second product. And the third lipstick, which I use quite a lot as well for the past month, is this one. This um, Elf Mirror Lipstick in Powdy Petal. I think I've seen it before in my blog post or something that it looks very similar to Nicely Nude on my lip. So I think I use this more than Nicely Nude. It's only put my lipstick in a bag, then I put it in the fridge. And whenever I reach out, I, I just kind of reach out for this more than the nice menu, which is a very odd because this one was on the toilet and I can do it by that one. So I pick this up more. And this is the color of the lipstick. I'm swatch it. I, I'm really bad at this brand of lipstick, so, you know, I should just swatch it. I should be like the color. Mm. This is the color right here. Okay, and the last lipstick is quite a bold lipstick, and it's um, from MAC, and it's the, from the Hello Kitty collection, this one is called Big Bow. This color is very bright, you can see it from the cute. Look how bright it is, but it actually looks nice on my lips if I don't apply too much. Actually, when I bought this lipstick, I kind of have like... I don't know how to use it because it looks very bright on my lips. And the it does contain like a, some blue shimmers which I really like because it makes my teeth look whiter. But I found a way to use it and it is to lightly just dab a bit of colour on my lips and it looks very nice. I have I have it on my lips right now. See how nice is it? It's not too bold, but it's still nice. So if you have this lipstick and you don't know how to use it, don't like apply a lot of, don't apply thick layer, just like lightly like, dab it on and it will give a very nice color. And the swatch is, is a very bright color. You see how bright this color is? So bright. So that is the lipstick. As for um, cheek products or brushes, um, because I have quite a lot of blushes from MAC and Everyday Minerals and some other brands 
and I tend to go take them about like every day. Like I'll use different brush blushes for different looks. But um, recently I have been kind of into pink blushes, so most of the time I'll use pink blushes. And the one which I reach out like more during this um, past month is the Hello Kitty Tippy Brush. Tippy Blush. And it's this is great color. It's really nice and it's very pigmented. Right here. This blush is super pigmented. When I first bought it, I also have no idea what to do with it. But, really, but when I bought the Elf like powder brush, then I realized that this this blush you have to use it in like really very little, just slightly like dab your blush brush in and then you just dab and then blend. You'll be really nice. You can use like your normal blush brush with this like the one two nine or your normal thick like fluffy brush because it'll pick up a lot of color. It's better if you use like a buffer brush, like sort of like a Mac 187 or the Elf powder brush. Because you just want to like dab the color on to that. And then we come to the next product is um because it's People seem to be crazy about bronzers nowadays, so I also picked up my bronzer, which is this matte bronzing powder in golden. Just like normal bronzing powder. Um, yeah, everybody's in the bronzer craze right now, so I, I also joined in the craze and started using this bronzer. I bought this bronzer like quite some time ago, I think probably like six months probably more ago. I haven't as hardly touched it but recently because of the bronze thing craze I just took it out. And of course when I use this I use a brush and the brush that I use is this um Sasa number F O two brush. I used to use this brush for like my powder foundation but because I bought like a beauty brushes for that. So this brush is now used for like um bronze bronze. So that's it. And then for another brush is my Fatty brush. The retractable Fatty brush, which everybody knows. I use this to get in my blot powder and I really like it because it's handy and it's um, hygienic. You don't put it together with all your other cosmetics and it doesn't get dirty. Okay, moving on to eye products, eyeshadows. Um, because now that I'm back in school and even though I use like make I still use makeup on my face but because school, you know, students don't really normally put on makeup so it's not like good to put on a lot of makeup and so the school people will start looking at you so I don't know, when I go to school I don't normally like apply eyeshadow or eye makeup. I just put concealer and I just did my other my foundation routine, my blush and my lips and I'm done with that. And sometimes with mascara and that's all I do for school. But sometimes if I'm a bit free then I'll probably do like some eyeshadow and not too loud eyeshadows. I'll use I'll probably like do neutral looks so that um, they are not too prominent and do eye catching. So the one eyeshadow eyeshadow quad which I reach out a lot is the Stila Marrakesh quad. Because they are all neutral colours. Yeah, so I I don't normally apply eyeshadow to school because too much it's too time consuming. But if I have afternoon lessons then I apply eyeshadow. So this quad I actually reach out when I have after <laughs> lessons I reach out for this quad quite a bit. And the other new so quad which I reach out a lot is um the L um butternut um quad. This is so a new for quad and this is literally like three dollars if you buy it online. So yeah, this is another quad which I use. So these are the two quads which I use whenever I have after lessons and I end it all when I have time, extra time. So this is this two quad. So yeah. That ends my August favorite. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.